Hi everybody, it's Cindy the Scrapologist. Welcome to another junk journal video. I received a subscription box from Your Creative Studio. This one is called Bake and I'm going to show you, I'm going to do the unboxing, show you the goodies that are in there and then do a project with this box since it's recipe themed. I pulled out my grandmother's old recipes. I've been wanting to um, D display these in a really nice way and do some memory keeping with these so stay tuned that part will be at the end and first the unboxing the link in the description below as to where you can get a subscription box. I, this is my fourth or fifth one that she sent me and I have loved every single one of them. I use the supplies all of the time. So this is highly recommended. This is, I don't know what month this box is. I received this in January 2023. It's It has an 11 there. I don't know if that means this was the November box or not. I'm not sure. But it does have the word bake on it. Each box is a different theme and you never know what it's going to be. So it's such a fun little surprise. And I already know that this is going to be kind of vintage cooking because I did open it enough to see that she always sends a nice thank you card. And this card says, baking is my love language. So cute. So the other thing I like about this box is Baking is really not a theme that I would normally buy a subscription box for, but I have been collecting cooking retro cooking magazines, and I have a few little things of ephemera that have vintage baking on them and things like that. I've been um, putting them aside in a in one of my drawers, and this might give me enough supplies now to go ahead and make some kind of a recipe journal or something like that. I do have recipes from my both of my grandmothers and I'm trying to get my mother to write down her recipes as well so I can collect all of those. So, um, you know, this could be fun. Um, it, it forces you to go out of your comfort zone and think outside the box. Speaking of that, I'm going to pull this out of the box. I think it'll be easier. So the company is Your Creative Studio. And I apologize in advance for my microphone. I'm having to use the microphone on the camera, which is not ideal because I, my studio is on a very busy road out of Canada that is non-stop logging trucks going by. The traffic noise is very bad, but I was vacuuming the other day and I always take my headset and I um, have a hook that I put it on and I was vacuuming and I caught the cord and pulled the headset and snapped it in half. A $70 headset. I was not happy with myself. So I have another one on order. If you want to buy me a tea, there's a link below to help me pay for a new headset. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, here we go. Okay. As always, the paper is worth saving. It's a nice crunchy paper with beautiful images on it. So that's going in my stash. So let's get started. Oh, I'm starting with this one because I see pretzels. Oh, that picture reminds me of when I used to live in New York City and and uh, once a week, I would go down to the local vendor and get a hot pretzel. I can't open this. My fingers aren't working today. I would get a hot pretzel and put mustard all over it. Oh, there's nothing like any kind of bread from New York City. Pretzels, bagels, pizza, there's nothing like it. So now I'm in the mood for a hot pretzel. And so these are stickers. And as I've said in my other videos, some of this she curates and some she actually designs herself. So this one looks like it's come it's coming from 
um, China. And these are stickers and they have food on them. Oh, it's 4.30 and this, I think this box is going to make me hungry. Oh, waffles with syrup. Got a bun, croissant. So little stickers of food. That's fun. And I'm going to, where's my box? I'm going to put everything back in the box as I show it to you. Okay. Time machine. Dow Dow sticker. Dow Dow. Maybe that means something in Chinese. These are also from China. What a nice little fat chunky book. This is nice. There's a lot in there. You, her her boxes I've said this before too I don't know how she gets all of this stuff for the price she does because this box is not expensive and you get it's definitely worth the money that she charges so let's see yeah, these are stickers not really food related but that is totally okay fairy tales Skiing. It almost looks like some vintage advertising. Some cute little fairies on a mushroom. Really pretty stuff. Oh, she's adorable. Wow, these are nice. And these are going definitely going in my vintage pile. Robitussin DM. <laughs> That's funny. I'm surprised they could use that. It's Robitussin's not public domain but yeah you never know about these things all right that's awfully cute and I'm actually gonna set that aside I like to organize the supplies as I open them up and so the cooking stuff is gonna go in here the vintage stuff is gonna go up here for now then we have a stamp and this one's a wood stamp usually they're just acrylic not wood backed so we'll see and I kind of mutilated this bag. I normally like to try to keep the flap intact, but these are nice bags to to keep and use in your junk journals too. But yeah, it's on it's wood back. That's awesome. Oh, that is nice. I am totally going to use that. It's it's a label with a little cherry on top. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna get a piece of paper piece of scrap paper here and let's let's try this puppy out my ink pad might be might be a little dry here let's see oh oh this is really nice I am gonna get so much use out of this can you imagine this on a coffee stained page let's do that I have a journal right here that I'm working on. And let's just, here's a coffee stained page. Let's just put that. Oh. I think I'm gonna use this in every one of my journals. I really love that stamp. Really, really love that stamp. Thank you, Amanda. That's going to go up in my vintage pile, not cooking. Because that's universal. Here's another, another wood stamp. Wow. I mean, these alone are worth the price of the box. I prefer wood-backed stamps, to be honest with you, than... And the acrylic, they, they don't store as easily. Um, you know, they take up more room. But I don't like having to take them out and put them on an acrylic block first. And I'm kind of lazy that way. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Oh, look. <laughs> what do you call one? What do you call those? A warmer? I don't know. There's a name for it. Don't know what it is. But that's sweet. That's going in the cooking. And my bags are going up here in my supplies pile. If you watch me, you know that I am 
totally organized. I can't stand disorganization. <laughs> it just makes me feel better. And this is washi tape, it looks like. Yep, washi. And that's pretty. It looks um, food related because it reminds me of a, one of those picnic picnic tablecloths, right? And it has something very faint on it, but I don't think it's meant to be seen. I mean, it's not any words or anything, but. Okay, it's going up here, and my bag's going up here. And <laughs> this looks like, now this looks like stuff. I hate to say vintage on stuff that I had when I was growing up. <laughs> I don't want to be considered vintage, but I guess I am. Um, <laughs> vellum and vellum. I love vellum stickers. Love, love vellum stickers. Miss Watermelon. And she's cool. Coffee lady. The kitty eating something. French fries. He's eating French fries. Very cute. So there's some smaller ones and then there's some larger. These are stickers. Are these? These look like stickers. Let me see. Yes, these are stickers and these aren't. These are just vellum sheets. Really cute of all kinds of vintage peanut butter and milk. How many of you grew up on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and a big glass of milk? So these are awfully cute. And then what are these? Oh, and then there's some are vellum and some are just plain paper. So these would be fun for tags. <laughs> That's Oreo cookies. <laughs> All right. That goes in the food pile. And then here we have some rub ons, and it comes with a little spatula to, to uh, rub on your rub ons. And there are three sheets in here. Very cute. And they're not glossy, which I like. I don't, I don't often use glossy things in my journals because I tend to be more uh, vintage oriented, but these are sweet. Get three of these. I love rub-ons. I've loved them ever since I was a little kid. Do you remember color forms? You would peel them up and put them on a little, a little background. I loved that, and I loved rub-ons when I was a kid. This, let's see, is this maybe a piece of fabric? Not sure. Oh, it's tissue. I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to have to try to put it back in, but it's tissue paper. That's cool. It has a chef's cap on it and bread. And it's a nice, um, it's a nice quality tissue paper. Oops. And it's getting stuck to the packaging there, which I don't want to do. Let me put that back in. cooking pile. And then here's some little stickers of rolling pins. Very cute. Pine Branch Company, again from China. This almost looks like a scrap pack, at least from the back it does. Let's see. 
Well, it's a little mixture of everything. A ticket, that's cool. Some labels. That's a nice, um, almost cotton feeling paper. Some more labels. You can never have too many labels, huh? Cute, lots of cute stuff in here for embellishing a journal. Sweet scented. <laughs> very, very cute. Oops, and some flowers. Oh, and these are stickers. I'll definitely get use from those. Pick this all up. Okay. That's going in the vintage pile after I get it back in the packaging. And then we have some more stamps. And these look like ones that she designed herself. And they are, they needed an acrylic block. That's okay. But um, let me take them out so you can see. Thought, oh, I thought I was going to get rid of the glare, but no. So we have Bake the World a Better Place. Sorry for the glare. Bake the World a Better Place. We have some chefs. We have some cooking utensils. Food is memories. I like that. These are nice. Thank you, Amanda. And then the last thing is a nice thick pack of paper ephemera. It says six sticker papers, six vellum, six art paper, and six patterned paper. Looks amazing in your cards, journal spreads, scrapbook tags, and much more. And it looks like these are possibly ones that she designed. And this is cute too. The card, the chip, um, that's not really chipboard, but it's a little thin piece of cardboard on the inside. That is really cool to use too. I like her packaging. It's, you don't throw anything away. You've got that card, you've got the bags, you have the paper that it comes in. So it's definitely worth it. So here's just some pretty paper white on the back very pretty she's sweet some have designs on them I mean actual <coughs> excuse me objects on them others are just patterns but it all coordinates color coordinates really nicely and um, looks like maybe you get two of each of these not sure at least two of each. Very pretty. I love the colors on that. That would be nice. You just put a recipe card on there and put it, stick it in a journal or a cookbook. Very cute. In the back here, there's some more vellum. Vellum is very fun to use in journals, in, um, in window envelopes. That's a real pretty one, too. So another fabulous, fabulous, fun subscription box from Amanda at Your Creative Studios. Alrighty, well, thank you so much for watching, and check out Your Creative Studio if you love this box. Check the upper right-hand corner for the project that I did using this box with my grandmother's recipe cards, I'm going to do a junk journal page. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye!